our night's game. Um, you know, there's still a scenario that we're not in the top four. No one wants that scenario, but that scenario still exists. So we need to make sure we just take care of our business. Our magic number one is one to, to get into the top four. And, you know, for me, my hope is somehow, some way we can get to Saturday with a chance to still win the SEC championship. And that can happen. We need some help from Kentucky. But uh, I would love to be able to get to Saturday with a chance to win. That means we have to, to take care of our side and, and win on Thursday and Friday. But if we do that and Kentucky can win a game out of the first two, then we have a chance to, to, to scoreboard watch and, and have some fun. That would, that would be great. But bottom line is our goal to begin this thing was to be in the top four and uh, to be able to host a regional. I think we're going to be able to do that. I was about to ask you next. I mean, getting that top eight national seed is the ultimate, is really the ultimate yeah. deal in, in, in all this. Is that something you focus on itself, or is it just a case where if we take care of our business, that's going to take care of itself top you know? Yeah, if we, if we do what we need to do, that, that'll take care of itself. And, uh, you know, our body of work is really good. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's a lock yet. Our RPI is going to stay in the top eight no matter what mm -hmm. because Alabama's RPI is really good. But I still think we have some work ahead of us. We need to win this series. If we can get to 20 wins in this league, I don't see how you cannot be a top eight. Uh, that's never happened. I mean, winning 20 games in this league is very rare. I think I read somewhere Dave Van Horn of Arkansas has never won 20 games in this league, True. ever. Yeah. And uh, so that, that's how rare it is. So we've got a chance to do something that's, that doesn't happen very often. If we can get to 20, uh, that means we win this series this weekend. I think we're a top eight. Coach, uh, um, Cole Wilcox is the last series of the of the SEC uh, in the regular season, and he's going to get the ball for the you know first game, first start. And is that what you expected from him? You talk about his development over the year. Obviously, injuries and everything have, have entered into the equation, but you seem pretty confident, and he seems pretty confident about taking the ball in the first game of a pretty big series. Yeah, I think I said at some at some point earlier in the year that it'd be very difficult to keep him out of the rotation. And uh, with Tim Elliott, him doing so well, we were able to do this these last two weeks. Tim started on Sunday, and when Tim started on Sunday, then we don't have to bring back anyone on short rest. So Cole threw a little bit in relief over the weekend, but now he can start on Thursday on regular rest. We can keep Tony Losey on Friday. We can keep Emerson on Saturday. No one has to change. And that's what Tim Elliott and Cole Wilcox have allowed us to do, just because they're so talented that we can split those starts. And, and the plan is then Tim Elliott can come back and start in the SEC tournament, hopefully on Wednesday. And, uh, again, no one misses a start. No one has to go early. Cole can stay on Thursday. Tony can stay on Friday. Emerson can stay on Saturday. And we can just kind of stay with that. To piggyback off that question a little bit, when you started building this up, you know, years ago, was that kind of the rotation you envisioned? You know, I can bring three guys that can can bring the heat. You know, can, you know, can you know do so well? You know, well, that's what every coach wants to be able to do <laughs> to put in that rotation. This is the first time that we've done this particular rotation. Right. I know we we've talked about it. If, if just, I don't know if that's been done uh, very many times anywhere to, to have three hard throwers yeah. like that consecutively. Uh, and it's, you know, velocity does, does not guarantee you uh, victory. Velocity doesn't guarantee you success, but it certainly helps. Yeah. And uh, you're, you're going to see three guys that are all going to throw 96 and above. And, uh, and that, that's, pretty, that's pretty tough for hitters uh, to know that that just keeps coming at you. And three guys that are all very talented and very competitive, too. How's CJ doing right now? He's, He's doing good. He's doing a lot better. And, you know, CJ, uh, it, it was about a week and a half ago I asked him how he's doing. He said, terrible. So, um, oh, no. And uh, so he's very honest with you. So la he didn't make the trip with us last week. We wanted to keep him off the bus and let him stay back here in rehab. And, and I was texting back and forth with him. And, you know, one day he said, I feel really good today. And the next day he said, I feel great, Coach. So he's, he's moving along. He's out there stretching with the guys. He's going to start his throwing program this week. Uh, best case scenario, uh, maybe at the end of the SEC tournament, if we can continue to go, he might be able to get in there and get an inning. That, that's what I'd like you know, if we get to Friday or Saturday that uh, C.J. can get out there, maybe throw an inning or two to get himself ready for the regions. But we feel like that he's going to pitch in the postseason. Is Glover okay? He didn't pitch last weekend. Yeah, he's doing fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just, just didn't just didn't come up. Um, I'm just curious on that, that last game. Now that I just thought he might would come in. We'll, 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 we'll yeah, no, he's, he's, he's doing fine. Okay. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's going to be uh, important this weekend for sure.